Yo, this video goes out to Kevin N, who wanted me to do a video about the body modification in a lab. Um, it's kind of simple, but it's just little stat increases and whatnot for your your either your outer self or your arsenal. I focus on the arsenal upgrades because I kind of think it's there's like no there's two outer missions, one's like half an outer mission, so I really don't see the point of focusing on your outer. Plus, your outer does, like, no damage. And from what everyone's telling me on YouTube and Reddit, that the outer upgrades aren't worth it. So, that's why I kind of focus. I already fo started focusing on Arsenal, but that's just another reason why I will probably continue to focus on Arsenal upgrades. Um, the upgrades are seem to be pretty good. Um, I don't really use these. Like, this one for the head. Actually, let me back up and uh, start this over. Start this over. So there's three body upgrades. There's head, upper body, lower body. Your head has a cup like cooldown resistance. Uh, I don't know what blitz power. I don't even remember what blitz power is on the outers, because that's how often I use the outer. I've done it like once. If, if if I jump out of my mech, bro, I'm jumping in somebody else's mech. I don't see the point of running around as an outer. Yeah, the first upgrade is the outer lock on. Probably the most useful one. Femto upgrade absorption and I guess that's for your lasers. I don't even know. Like my laser doesn't even use up enough. Like I can't shoot my laser fast enough for my femto to run out. So I don't even see the point of that. But I don't know if this affects your arsenal. This outer upgrade. I think it it'll make more sense if it affected your arsenal's femto absorption rate. But I don't think it does. Somebody tell me if it does or doesn't because I honestly don't know. But again, I focus on the outer upgrades that I think I want. So, and I don't use these as much as I should. Ooh, so I got these goggles on. So yeah, sometimes when you when you upgrade um, using the lab for the body modifications, sometimes it will change the way your character looks. Um, some sometimes they look cool. Sometimes they look crazy. I kind of like those goggles. I got. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some people look like straight up robots. My dog over there made a noise. I'm dog sitting. He scared the shit out of me. You alright, Bill? Butch. He just looked at me looking crazy. But, um. Yeah, so, anyways, these are probably the better upgrades from this tree. Any of the arsenal upgrades. But, again, I don't use shift like I should have, and I should because it does do a hell of a damage and dip. In damage, anyways, I never use the defensive one. But they definitely do a big difference in damage. I think I used it on my twin machine gun video. And towards the end where the other, the enemy uh, arsenal came out, I popped it up on him. And I think it did, it looked like it did a lot more damage. And I was like, why haven't I been using this? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't even think I used it on the boss. I barely use Mirage, too. So I need to start using that more. Um... This is the body upgrade, upper body, uh, HP for your outers. Oh, this is where I think the best upgrades are because there's a lot of upgrades here for your arsenal. So this is one for reload speed. You have melee range. The 25% sounds like a big difference too. Um, melee weapon. I think this is damage. It just says improve melee weapons. I'm assuming damage. I don't know if there's damage and like speed or whatever, but I'm, I'm just assuming it's damage. Uh, you can get a blade on your outer. Again, I didn't see the point because I don't want to fight big robots with a blade in my outer form. It just doesn't just doesn't sound like a good idea. Uh, chain attacks. Do I have this one? I already have this one. <laughs> chain attacks, which is a good, big difference. Increase chain attacks plus one. So you can do more chain attacks. Smash. I have no clue what that is. Maybe you can fight with your fist in your outer form. Doesn't sound like a good idea to be real. Uh, grenades for outer. Chain distance, which is actually a pretty dope upgrade. But I don't think you can go from here down there. Um, traps, outer stuff. Melee upgrades. I would literally just go up here and try to get as many melee in the reload speed upgrades. Yeah, I'd rather have the reload upgrades because I... I use way more guns than I do melee. Melee builds are fun, 
but I I think it'll be more I think it'll be more consistent, especially in PvP when if you focus on gun upgrades and whatnot. And then there's lower body, which I just unlocked this ability blink. So I'm kinda excited to see what it does. It sounds cool, like you can teleport or whatever. But I also heard on Reddit it's trash. Increased mobility, so this overall makes all your arsenals a little bit faster. Stamina usage boost or reduced, which is nice. Landing recovery time, which is nice. Outer double jump, I don't see the point of that. I really don't. Movement speed, I don't see the point of that. I don't see, I honestly don't see the point of any of this outer stuff. I know I've said it, but I don't know. Don't waste your money on it. I heard they're adding um, co-op missions, though, for outers, but I'm sure it'll be easy, and it probably won't be worth the upgrade. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Air dodge. Increased mobility as an arsenal. See, this is the stuff I'd grab. All this outer stuff, I wouldn't even touch. Like, don't waste your money on it. Reduce landing time. Sounds dope. Blink. And I'm excited to try Blink. What's that last one? Improve not down resistance. Blah, blah, blah. That one actually might be nice too in PvP. Especially if people are using rocket launchers and stuff. Because knockdown is kind of annoying. And I'm thinking maybe if you time it, you might be able to stun lock people. Y'all didn't hear that from me though. But yeah, you can reset your upgrades. But it costs 20000 and I don't think you're, you'll are you get that money back. Which kind of blows, but whatever. Um... It'll probably be, you'll probably see more people experimenting with it when they have all the unlocks and whatnot and probably don't have a use for money. But I use a lot of my money for uh, the secret lab and whatnot, so. But, um, and the factory. But let's go see what this blink does, yo. Alright, I'm kind of excited about this blink. Let's see what this shit does, bro. It's kind of cool. It takes a lot of stamina, though. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, shit. I did not mean to go that far. Kind of cool. I don't know. It seems good to like be a good get the fuck out the way move. Oh shit! What did I do? That took a lot of damage. I've never did that before. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. A lot of people say on Reddit say it's useless. Eh, I'm sure there's some use for it, but. Kind of wish it was a shorter teleport, personally. Because I would like to use it kind of aggressively to, you know, fill in the gap between me and somebody else. Let's see, like. I go, like, way past them. But, it, like, again, like, if you're getting jumped, especially when PvP drops and you're getting jumped, it might be a good weapon to get the freak out of there. Like, somebody, both of the teammates uh, jumping, you could just, you know, unless they got it too, then they might right, be right back on you. But the cool thing about Blink is uh, I think people lose their lock on when, they, when you do it, at least in, when the other arsenals did it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be real. Drains a lot of stamina. Mm, that's another thing too. Cause you could, if you do it twice, you're kind of out of stamina, and you're kind of be wide open. These funnels are trash, by the way. I like the idea behind them, but I don't like. I, they're kind of trash. 
I don't even know what they're calling this game. I call them funnels because of Gundam. All right, but that's probably going to end my video. Like, that's all I wanted to show you guys. The lab. I, I didn't even want to make it this long. But this blink thing is kind of cool. I don't know about it yet. Maybe if I have more stamina, I like it more. Or maybe if it did, took less stamina. I don't know. We'll see. I think things. I think PvP is really going to like... Um, you're going to see a lot more of what weapons and builds can do. Like, it's always like that because people are going to like find the best way to... To kill you pretty much <laughs> and doing that people get pretty creative so it should be pretty cool I, I can't wait for the multiplayer to come out um i'll probably be testing a bunch of crazy builds even if i don't think they work but we'll see um or doing what or doing what i can to make certain weapons work because i don't think like the heavy melee weapons are going to be any good anyways i'm going on a rant and i'm done with this uh, Kevin N, you also asked for a video about melee. I will work on that next. Uh, when I find the time. <laughs> uh, hopefully soon after this one. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for everybody who's been subscribing. I've got like 20 subscribers just off of these videos. Uh, so I will keep it up. And if you guys ever want me to try to cover something about the game, uh, let me know. I definitely will. And y'all be safe. Take it easy. I'm out.